Okay, something that's very, very important. Since the Roku level test is the foundation of all the techniques that you're doing, it's important to have a correct foundation. What I'm going to show you now is the pin, the correct pin, and the way to get them into the pin from Kodagashi. So again, from the technique, once I've done my technique, I take the person down, I pull them away from their center, controlling them down. Once he's on his back like this, I have to move him over. He's got too many weapons right now to attack me with. He can kick me, he can punch me, he can, he can bite my ankle, and I don't want that. So what I do is, Holding his wrist, I take my hand at his elbow, I cross step, so I'm not leaving my groin exposed. I cross step, take the elbow at his face as I take his hand in a circular motion down by his belt. That forces the body to turn over because the shoulder won't move this way. The most effective way to pin any person, any human being, is to jam their shoulder into the mat. If I pin his hips, if I pin his head, he can get out of this technique. But if I lock his shoulder into the ground, he won't be able to get out of this. So once I've rolled him over, what I do is take my foot, I base it up against his leg, or I'm sorry, up against his arm, just like this. So his arm is raised, resting on the inside of my knee. I'm like in a horse stance now, and I push his wrist into the ground, effectively pinning the shoulder. You push on the wrist, but you're jamming the shoulder into the ground. As I lean this more towards his head, you'll see him tap. That's a submission. Just like this. After I'm done pinning, I just slide his arm down my shin and I stand behind him, bracing his arm up against my shin with this wrist lock on it. If he starts to get up from here, I can just put the wrist lock right back on him to control him. This is what I consider the after action drill of this technique. Move away from him at this point. If you just get in the habit of putting someone down, doing the pin, go ahead do the pin, and just letting go and walking away, he can grab your legs. So I always pin the person and then control them after the pin.